This video will serve as a keybind template for players looking to switch to hybrid KBM setups. I use a Razer Tartarus Chroma V1. There are 15 keys on the keypad with two thumb buttons near the movement stick. The movement stick is 8-way directional, meaning it operates in a similar way to traditional WASD combinations. For example, W, AW, A, AS, S, SD, D, WD, W. First I'll go into the middle row of keys. My jump is on bind 6, which is caps lock on traditional keyboard. My pinky rests on jump in a default position. My build binds are 7, 8, 9, and 10, which are the remaining keys in the middle row. This translates to ASDF. Wall is A, floor is S, ramp is D, cone is F. I reach between ramp and cone with my index finger. But my index finger will rest on ramp in a default position. Next I'll address the top row of keys. My inventory is on bind 1, which translates to tab on traditional keyboard. I reach this with my ring finger. Binds 2, 3, and 4 are weapon slots. These translate to Q, W, and E. Bind 5 maps to R, which I, uh, which I left for reload and build rotate. Jumping down to the bottom row, I use bind 11 for crouch. This maps to left shift. Bind 12 is pickaxe. I hit that with ring finger. Bind 13 is weapon slot, which I use, uh, which I hit with X. Or excuse me, with, <laughs> which I hit with uh, middle finger, which maps to X. Um, bind 14 is edit, which maps to C. I hit that with my index finger. And bind 15 is a weapon slot, which maps to V, which I also hit with my index finger. So my additional thumb button binds are set to build, repair, and map. And what I'll usually do is hit auto run with middle mouse button and open my map, which is the bottom thumb button. And then if I want to do a build repair, I can just quickly tap that, uh, that top one. I have trap bound to mouse five and interact bound to mouse four. I do use scroll wheel down for edit reset and scroll wheel up as a secondary jump bind. Whoa, that's not supposed to happen. Um, and then, yeah, obviously auto run is my middle mouse button, like I said just a moment ago. There are players who prefer build binds on their mouse. I'm not one of those players. If you do prefer build binds on your mouse, I recommend keeping all fingers on movement and build keys at all times. For example, keep your pinky on jump, keep your ring finger on wall, um, keep your middle finger on floor, and then when it comes to adjusting... Uh, with build binds on your mouse, I recommend keeping edit on your index finger. So I would say make D your edit and then use your mouse buttons for like, I don't know, let's say ramp and cone, for example, um, or ramp and floor, whatever your preferred two build binds are on your mouse. I don't use this. I don't feel like it's comfortable for me and I feel like it impacts my aim, but I know there are a lot of players who disagree with me. So um, I recommend doing it that way if you prefer build binds on mouse. And obviously keeping your left thumb here for movement. Um, there's a lot that you can do with binds like these um, that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do with WASD. You can edit while you can edit forward with your index finger um, while strafing, which is something that we have not been able to do in the past. Um, you can do, similarly, you can place all your build pieces from any movement position. I was unable to place walls and ramps while strafing this way. Um, so, there's so many different possibilities now with build symmetry that we otherwise aren't able to do. Certain combinations and sequences are very challenging to do without just holding W the whole time. And even then, we're unable to comfortably switch between... Um, movement and certain inventory slots. It just makes more sense for us to completely free our movement from our builds and edits and leave them separate so that way there are no competing fingers 
on the keyboard layout. Um, again, my name is Regan57. If you enjoyed the video, please check out my YouTube and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time.